Warning, these cartoon characters consistently face problems and issues similar to those in the real world. Some will enjoy rewards, while others will face consequences for their actions. Much like Squid Games, once someone is eliminated, there's no turning back. So everyone beware, regardless of whose name is on the title of the episode. Happy endings are not guaranteed. This is not Looney Tunes. You have been warned. Enjoy the show. I'm talking to you. Listen up, because I'm only going to tell you this once. Growl Capone hurriedly gathered all of his fellow bears together to share an urgent message. As the godfather of the polar bears, he wanted to inform his kin that their species was in danger, but that he'd hatched a plan to give them the upper hand. Capiche? The way Growl Capone saw it, their species was under threat from the population growth of other predators. But, if they could discreetly exterminate most of their foe and shrink other predator populations to about 10%, then the polar bears could breed in massive numbers. Frau Capone was a mean old bastard with a vision for the future. The other polar bears liked the idea of outnumbering any other predator 10 to 1 and set out to celebrate their future successes in being the number one species in the world. They decided to create a delectable stew made from the meat Lions, bears, crocodiles, tigers, killer whales, and more. This seemed like a great idea to the polar bears, because they believed themselves to be superior in every way to all the other species on the planet. Capiche? Meanwhile, the other species recognized and respected the power of the polar bear. In fact, all jobs and finances were managed in the polar bear way, and other species would even dye their hair white to access polar privileges. You see, polar bears showed preference to species that were more like them, so some black bears began dyeing their hair white to blend in. It was a way to belong and make life easier. All in all, things were going the wrong kind of sideways. That is, until one day something shifted. A polar bear named Tony was sent to steal carrots for the stew, because there was no way the polar bears would pay with all of their money. On the instruction of Grau Capone, Tony went to all the poor farmers in the brown rabbit community and stole 90% of their crop to add to the polar bear meal of superiority. He and the other bears gave the rabbits an ultimatum. Either you can weigh with the carrots or you can pay with your life. If those rabbits didn't hand over the carrots, they'd be sleeping with the fucking fishes. Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. Vitamins and minerals, and it's part of a complete balanced breakfast. But oh, wait a minute. Ah yeah. oh, no, you crazy rabbit. Huh. That cereal is for children. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Mr. Rabbit. We're calling you to offer the management position with our company. Do you have a moment? Oh yes, uh, absolutely. Something? Please, go ahead. This position mm -hmm. offers full benefits at $35 an hour and a $5,000 start bonus, plus weekends off and you get to pick your own schedule. And given your location and your experience, you'd be a perfect fit. I finally get a break. Yes, today's my lucky day. <laughs> nice. 
However, we did have a question about your resume before we start the hiring process. On the application, under what color rabbit, you listed, uh, multicolor. The advisors were curious about the majority. Would you say you're mostly white or... Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a second. I don't see what that has to do with anything. I, I have the experience and I'm in the area. Isn't that what matters? Well, um... Our clients would feel a lot safer around a rabbit of a bright, uh, welcoming color. And being manager, we want everyone to feel safe and welcome. So, would you happen to be a white rabbit? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Well, I'm golden brown, and I've got great news. My teeth are as white as rice. I'm available for holidays, weekends, double shifts, and anything. So how about we set up an interview in person? Maybe I can... Hello? Hello? Ah, oh, fuck. I can see why others would want to lie on their resume. But I can never find myself to do that. Hmm. Ah, I'm empty. Man, I thought I had more. <sighs> Unemployed, broke, and out of treats. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully my buddy's got one. Let me see what she's up to. I've got to get out of this house. Oh, what the hell? What is cracking over here? Yo, 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 stop the cat. Where's all the food at? Oh, wait, wait a second. These look like bear tracks. Okay. They are bear tracks. They're all over... Oh, oh. Oh, oh, hell no. Let me guess. The polar bears had something to do with this. It was the polar bears. Yes, Tony was here. They're making a huge gumbo made out of the meat of predators. They gave me an ultimatum. Give up my carrots. Check this out, young lady. Look, you've always had my back, always. As, as a matter of fact, you give away more carrots than you sell. Probably because you love your community. Well, tell you what, your community loves you too. I'm sure this is just all one big misunderstanding. I'ma go talk to them, we gonna get an understanding, and I'ma bring your carrots back on everything, no cap, no lie. I'ma bring them back for you. Be back as quick as I can. Just fast and pray until I get back, all right? You're gonna be good. Nephew ain't gonna believe this. Tell the rest of the crew to get down to the state real quick. My man is going to fight a polar bear. No, I'm serious. Hell yeah, you heard me right. A rabbit is going to fight a polar bear. We all know how those bears get down. I don't know why or what happened, but I think it's over some carrots or something. I'm not missing this fight for nothing. Hey, what's poppin', Tucker? Good to see you. I heard what happened. Mm. You have my support 100 percent Yeah, thank you. Those bears are crazy. Mm. Yeah. And I respect you for doing this. But really, mm. you about to find a polar bear over some carrots? Mm-hmm. Boy, are you crazy? <laughs> That's unheard of. <laughs> uh, but I feel you. Uh -huh, yeah. And hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. For real, yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't know what type of tricks you have up your sleeve, I don't have but that. I got your back. Mm. And I believe in you, my man. For real. <laughs> hey there, hero. My rabbit, Eddie. What's up? What is going down? <laughs> How you doing? Good to see you. I just wanted to say that I believe in you. Oh, thank you. I bet you know some sort of martial arts or, or something. I can't believe what they did. That is so uncool. Those polar bears suck. In fact, if I was their size, I'd kick their butt. <laughs> Those bears are psycho. My man, mm -hmm. I commend you for doing what you're getting ready to do. Oh, thank you. It's about time somebody stands up to them. For real. And in my opinion... What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. Mm -hmm. One rabbit to another. Yeah. It's about time those proud polar privileged bears get slapped. Slapped. <laughs> so you're right. I agree with you. If anybody gets slapped in front of an audience for any reason, it's Tony. If they rob my friends, they'll rob me. They'll rob my family. They'll rob my children and my children's children. Not on my watch. Not today.
higher power to that being. Please see me through this. If something does happen to me, just make sure those babies don't stop. Haul it all off to the mansion to celebrate how superior they are. Over every other species, huh? Yeah, well, I think that you should treat others the way you want to be treated. So, in my opinion, fuck your superiority. Squeezing superior stretch mark, mark having ass down here so I can clap those cheeks, partner. Yo, I'm the Monko, Monko.